My name is Rose. I am a photographer, videographer, and entrepreneur from the Philippines. My husband and I started our photo and video business in 2017. If you are just starting out and can't manage a website, you can start with a Facebook page. The goal is to let everybody know, especially people in your area, that you are accepting food photography gigs. It will also help to do personal photo shoots so you can build your portfolio and add it to your page so it will look credible and drive engagement. So this is how I got this client, through our FPS Productions PH Facebook page. If you will notice, we don't have a lot of likes and followers yet, but that is not a reason not to reach your target customers. Here are other ways you can get gigs and clients. Number one, take photos for free at first. This is actually how I got my very first paying client. What I did was order their food online, then took a couple of nice photos of it, I ate it, and it was really good, so I also had really good things to say about it. I posted it on Facebook and tagged them. Then, a few days later, the owner of this store or this pizza shop contacted me and asked if I could do a professional photo shoot of their entire menu. This actually worked for me multiple times, so you can do the same too. Just a couple of tips, look for local businesses that do not have professional looking photos on their website or social media pages so you'll know that there is a need. Another tip is to choose products or businesses that you personally believe in so it will manifest in your photos plus it can help when creating genuine captions. Next is telling your friends and family. Posting your photos on your socials and letting everybody know. This can be a great starting point. There are times when our friends have a friend who needs a photographer, but they just didn't know that we can be recommended. Sometimes we are so good at what we do, but we don't advertise it enough. You grow and master a skill fast when you do it a lot. So really build your skill and practice and let everybody know. This is one of the most important stages when doing a commercial photo shoot. This is where you set expectations with the client. This is where you gather what's in their thoughts or how they expect the photos to look like. This is where you also ask who your client's target audience is. This is where you create a theme board or a mood board and gain agreement with the client. I know we all have our unique style and creativity, but at the end of the day, if we are doing a photography for a client, we need to make sure we are on the same page and that our client will be happy with our photos. So first, let me talk about the needs of this client and why they decided to hire me. So they wanted a professional food photographer because their products are really good. I mean, during our photo shoot, I was able to taste most of it and it is authentic. It is authentic Taiwanese food. But they said they could not translate that to their photos. Most of their customers or audience are online, so it is really important to have appetizing and inviting food photos. When you sell food on the internet or on Facebook, people will not know that it's good until they taste it, right? So here comes the we eat with our eyes first. So that was their first concern. Make their food look inviting on camera. So my game plan for this is to make sure I have the best lighting setup, use my macro lens 90% of the time to capture details, and to do the rest in the editing room. Next concern is their branding. They wanted for the final photos to shout Taiwanese. I personally don't know much about the Taiwanese food culture, so I dedicated one day researching about it. I collected photos from different blogs, I created a Taiwanese board on Pinterest, and checked Instagram hashtags. So this is one of the theme boards that I sent the client and they actually liked it. For the drinks, I sent them these photos, but they said this is not their branding or this is not who they are. So I searched further and found this on Instagram. I explained to them that instead of yellow, I will replace the other backdrop with red. 
and they actually like the idea. And that is the story behind these final photos. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.